All right, welcome back. Hope you're having a good day. This is one of my Fikers Marker Carper cuttings. I actually grew this guy not quite in the ground, but what I did was I had it in a little small plastic container, about that big, and planted it in the ground. Allowed it to get escape roots. Allowed it to work up a bunch of really good aerial roots in the uh, in the in the container. It was starting to even get some where they were out of the container a bit, and that's when I decided to go ahead. And pot on this, I do believe I did that in July, and I think that's the only video I have on this. I'll put that uh, link in the description and everything. I was thinking about taking the wire off today, rewiring it, cutting it way back. But the wire's not really cutting in all that great. And it's kind of the wrong year to be working everything, you know, too terribly hard. So what I'm going to do, this, this actually, I've done very little with it since July. I think I might have cut the apex back maybe once or twice. But some of these, when I, when I repotted, I left almost all the growth. And some of these, uh, you know, shoots are just getting so long. And the idea was, is now, you know, now that's not only long, but it's got no, you know, taper or anything like that on it. I wanted to keep some of the thicker branches close. But then I want to be able to train these, you know, some of these smaller branches off the side back here. Down and kind of keep them low. I hope to just accumulate a bunch of foliage and uh, aerial roots eventually. But I'm going to cut some of the leggy stuff off today. Should be relatively quick. I know I was already planning on cutting this one all the way off. There's some big big shoots by the, uh, by the trunk that need to come out. Alright, a little work like that, I think I'll hold on to this video. A little work like that, a month or two, should give me plenty to work with. Should, I uh, left plenty of growing tips, but I also took plenty off. And so it should, you know, just induce a whole bunch of back budding, and uh, some of these shoots will get even longer. Then that'll, that'll let me know, you know, the ones I want to keep, the ones I want to wire, the ones, the ones I want to get rid of. And we'll take a look at Alright, that first part of the video is from November. It's July 8th or 9th, something like that. Every now and again, when I do a video in November, it's really kind of, I hate to admit it, out of boredom. Trees just don't really need that much work right around then. I kind of, I think I was under the impression that if I worked it that hard then, it would get a good wintertime growth spurt. Didn't really happen. I mean, obviously now you can see, you know, the, the difference between what it looked like right, right at the end of the November part and now. I was hoping maybe if I left it alone for a while, it will start developing a bunch of aerial roots. Uh, it really has not. Uh, I'm gonna just guess that it's just not pot bound yet. It is. Uh, it is a lot wider and about as deep as that original pot that I had it in. I should have that original video in the description of where I had this in a. Uh, it was just a little cutting that I had in a in a pot that I had kept in the ground for a bit. It wasn't that I had the entire plant in the ground. I had the pot that it was in in the ground. Uh, it has grown quite a few roots out of the bottom here. I'll get those trimmed up there sooner or later. But now at this point, since I have just let it go, I'm, you know, it is the right time of year now. November really wasn't the right time of year to just kind of cut it all the way back. I'm going to do that now. I, I am under the impression that this has lowered itself some. Maybe it just kind of got lazy and just started resting on the pot there. But I'm just going to cut the whole thing back quite a bit. And we'll see what it looks like.
All right, when I originally started with this tree, one of the things, you know, was a, it was a cutting, and one of the problems was I had so many cuttings that I was winding up with, you know, this much trunk, and then like a little cloud of foliage on top, and I, I wanted to make sure I saved a couple lower branches, and that was actually the way I, I kind of kept them with tie wires down really low, and I was wiring it while it was in the ground, so I do have, you know, some movement in some of these lower branches, I do wish, you know, this is the lowest one. I wish it was a little bit thicker, but it is, you know, comes out of that way and it has a little turn to it and everything. So at this point, you know, I only have, you know, I got these four lower branches and then I have this one, this one, and then basically the apex. And since I don't really have a whole lot of tertiary, you know, secondary branches going on just yet, I think I'll just leave it alone for a little while. Go ahead with the idea of, of trying to Perhaps let it let it go wild for a year or so and see if I can't develop some aerial roots. I do want to cut that off because that was the other reason I wanted to keep these lower branches and the reason why I put it in this nice wide pot too is I wanted to get a little more of a banyan look. Not just from like branch, you know, aerial roots falling right down the trunk. I wanted some falling from out here. We'll see what happens. It is a lot of substrate in there because it's a little bit of a bigger pot, so not quite pot bound yet. But we'll see if the future brings it.